What's up, boys? We're back with some more scouts recon this time. We're looking for the revamped slash sort of new overclock for the plasma carbine that gives a decent amount of fire rate and reload speed and a ton of potency. And then we're going to try and use that massive potency to turn it into a very powerful dual status effect weapon. You can add both the burning effect and the cryo effect to the plasma carbine. And we've tried tons of freezing with it before, and it's very good at that. But I'd also like to try out some burning with a heavier investment into the uh, status effects from it. We will be giving up the Sawn-Off overclock at level 18 to go for it, which is probably one of the best overclocks in the game. So hopefully the large boost of potency will end up being fairly powerful in its own right and bring something unique to the table to actually make it a bit of a choice at level 18. Other than that, I'm not really looking for anything in particular. Probably some sort of utility weapon like the boomerang to apply debuffs and collect XP for us. And then I think the Subata would be kind of cool from the driller if we could convert that into acid. That would give us a unique status effect that you don't normally get on the scouts. Ah, uh, Taser's decent, but I think we're going to reroll here. Plasma Charger? You can get both burning and freezing on that as well, and it's also plasma. I think I'm down to try that actually. potentially have a full burning freezing plasma build maybe. Um, turbo and cabulator is nice if you can get it later on, but the mining speed penalty is just so bad early on. I think we just take the XP scanner here and hope that gives some decent levels throughout the run. Okay, we'll take the massive stat boost to that, ton of fire rate and reloads. Fire rate isn't the best on the plasma charger since it's just a single shot weapon, but I think it'll be pretty important for most of the other stuff we're going. And we should get a lot of reload speed by default whenever we dodge, which is actually pretty often on the recon. Uh, I could probably use some early pickup still. Don't think we've gotten any of that yet. More pickup. Damage for the plasma charger. One more level, and hopefully, we get the carbine so I can actually get some levels going on that. Hate when I get one of the super important weapons towards the very end.
Old Shark would be decent, but I'd really like to get the Carbine here if we can. There we go. Carbine, we want fire rate over damage since we're trying to go full in on status effects on that. Fire rate, reload speed, and then once we add the status effects to it, we can scale potency for it as well. Decent plasma damage, sure. More fire rates. The threat level just went up. We have a decent damage for the Zukov, sure. Might look for the electrical conversion on that for even more status effect based stuff. Carbine. Charger level, I think. Reload speed is the main stat we're looking for on that. Bit of global damage, some more luck. Carbine. Let's see, stun sweeper. We would have to avoid the conversion on the Zukov if we do that. Does have some nice utility. Cryo grenades also not bad. We could explode the terrain, and it doesn't add any bad upgrades for us. Um, we already have one overclock there, let's just go ahead and go for the stun sweeper, and then not take the electrical conversion if we get it offered. So we're up to 44 luck on the first stage, status damage. Uh, we have a fair amount of nitro, I'll take a cheap level for that. Reload and paint job are okay. We do have light reload, which probably isn't ideal for this now. Probably take that, and sure. Paint job into an overclock, grab the burning effect for that, cheap reload here, and a bit more pickup. Paint shop gets us an overclock, and we don't even have the electric anyways. Cryo. I don't think there's any downsides to that. So we can get even more freezing power for the build, and hopefully grab something like that for both of the two plasma weapons. And we should have pretty strong freezing towards the end then. Carbine gets an overclock. Burning effect, nice. One of the two main ones we wanted for that. And the key to actually making it scale with the status effect damage we've gotten a little bit of so far.
Oh, turbo and cabulator again. I might just take the sugar cube here. We're still super early, and that'll give some pretty nice survivability combined with the recon's dodge passive, honestly. Paint job or some potency. Ah. Uh, probably go for the overclocks a bit faster on the plasma weapons. See, yep, for the carbine, we have that available now that it has the burning effects. Reload fire rates. Let's go a little bit of reload since we've already gotten several fire rates for it. Another potency. Ah, uh, could use some decent movement speed. I don't think we've gotten anything there yet. Pretty underwhelming hoarder, two weak resources, and a regular upgrade. Carbine. Oh yeah, red sugar stacking. Take a little damage to grab this one if I dodge everything. Charger level. Damage isn't really ideal. I'll probably just take the fire rate then for even more stacking. Damage, damage. Global damage does work though. Oh, a double hoarder this early on? Huh. Uh, another underwhelming one. You can have three copies of the pills, so it's not super useful, but I think we will still take that now that it gives a bit of passive HP on top of the healing. Uh, reload, we do want that for the charger. Fire rate is okay now that it freezes, so I think I'll take that over damage. Satisfact, we need as much of that as we can get. Yep.
fire rates. I will take that over just regular damage since that doesn't work on our status effects. And we got the slow, very nice. Double status effect combo. Now we just need the massive potency boost at level 18 to go with those. More reload. Even more reload, some nice status damage, paint job to help that one out. It's a bit light on Nitra, so we'll save a little bit so we can get even more Carbine. Luck. Some mining. Decent movement. Uh, probably a bit more mining speed. We do have some electrical stacks. We should probably get a bit more damage. Carbine, it's just damage, but it's all just regular damage here anyways. Another red sugar? Mega tank recon scouts? Might as well! Carbine fire rates. Now we're just one level away from a massive overclock for it. There are three different unstable overclocks for the plasma carbine, so you're not guaranteed to hit any of them. But if you're doing a status effect build like this, you are guaranteed to hit a good one at least, because there are two very good ones. If you don't get the revamped one, then you will have the Sawn-Off Overclock available, and that one's just insane anyways. From what I can tell, it seems to make you fire about 5 shots with every attack. So, I mean, that's just straight up insane for applying status effects as well anyways.
take a bit of damage for this one. Let's grab some good mining speed. I uh, don't really want to take an elite hit. There we go. My AoE is still pretty bad, so it's actually kind of hard to hit the elites if, even if I want to. So some detonators would be pretty helpful, but not if I freeze them instantly. Okay, there we go. Potency does get us an overclock. Okay, what did we get on that? The burning effect? Yeah, so we can't get any slowing on it. Uh, probably just take the massive reload speed. That will increase the burn damage by hitting more often with it, at least. Potency looks good. Reload fire rates. What do we need more here? They're actually pretty close. Let's go with some more fire rates. And we didn't even get the overclock, like I said, so a massive increase to the number of shots fired is still fantastic. Just not the one that I wanted to test, but oh well. Potency, yep. And now we can instantly freeze and apply a ton of burn stacks anyways. Uh, sure. Armor might actually be better with the double red sugar. Ah, uh, global damage probably. What is that Rolly boy doing? He's inside the pod. I've never seen that before. I guess I can probably kill him out here? Yeah. Definitely need some piercing for that. Uh, I guess I will take that. We don't have a whole lot afterwards, but it's pretty nice for the main weapon. Fire rates, bit of mining speed, and some armor to go with all of our HP. I guess I'll freeze that. Potency is one of the main stats I'm looking for on it, and I do want to get the overclocks for it. Take some damage for the red sugar. No, I cannot. Potency will get the earth block now, and we can grab the spiral pattern to hopefully help out with the XP collection effects later on. Also, just sitting around in a spiral for a while, for a while, not a viral, will allow it to apply even more electrical stacks.
Let's see, we're getting 12 HP per red sugar now. So that's 48 a stage if you get all of them. Yeah, I think the armor is probably better. Uh, we're pretty good on mining speed, and I like potency on that. Multi-tool or clipboard. Uh, we kind of free stuff so much anyways. I'm at 24% reload speed and that brings me to 49%. Not too bad. And I'm always on the lookout for the weapon box, which can potentially give us quite a bit more for that as well. Uh, I guess just take the level for that. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ah, uh, I guess a bit of crits. None of these are really super relevant for how we're choosing to build this run. Then we have great survivability and great freezing power, so we can just mess around with the flyer guy for a little bit potency or some decent global. I do really want the XP collection effect for that. Would have been so nice if we could have gotten that pretty early. How much farming we've been doing. Some nice XP, it's still pretty early on. Big damage, but we're using it for the status effects mainly, so I think just the reload speed, honestly. for the tank scouts. It's a kind of crazy AoE XP farming for this early into a run. Grab the potency now, kind of light on Nitra, so we might hold it for some carbine more. levels like fire rates. Bit of movement. Uh, I don't think I care too much here. I want another go. A light reload would have been fantastic. I guess I will lock that if we had gone more into light based stuff. I'm feeling lucky. No. XP. see what the burns look like when we get a ton of stacks on him. Not that great, actually. I guess we're a bit light on status damage still. Uh, 
Uh, there's some red sugar over there on the wall. If I can take damage. we can get that up to level 12 and get the collection, then I won't really need pickup too much. And it's kind of taking a while at the levels. Probably just going to go here and try to get that going as soon as possible. Time to test my freezing power, I guess. Not too bad, more piercing. We definitely need that. Up to six now. That's probably one of the best stats I can get right now. Crit chance? No, that would lower the burning damage. Let's reroll here. Ooh, a third red sugar cube? I think the coupons and the energy bars are better but I don't often get the chance to do this. Did unfortunately get all of it already for the other stacks. So that one's only relevant at stage six. Status damage. I think we got the piercing. It's going to be very hard to hit the range guy. on him to help out a little bit. We can funnel them into a little bit of piercing here. Uh, potency for more freezing, I guess? I think I actually do want to focus on getting as much damage on them as possible because there's a very real chance they just ramp up so much I eventually can't even kill them with how low my damage is right now. Try and pull them through some detonators here if we can.
Uh, fire rates pick up. We have a purple level for that, so I'm going to pass on pickup and hope we get the XP collection for the boomerang. It combines with the spiral pattern that does a ton of work and you don't really need too much pickup radius. We can just finish the melee guy now and then there will be a lot less stuff to avoid. Freezing is fantastic, not sure about the rest of the build yet, but we can definitely farm quite a bit of XP and keep them mostly off of me. Uh, I will take a big crit chance, I guess. Here, okay, nice. Got the XP collection plus the spiral pattern. Do I want to use the rest of my nitra on that? I think so. And then we don't really have any nitra left, so probably just take whatever okay ish gold upgrades there are that's decent. I guess we'll take that. Ooh, luck. Big fire rates. I might actually lock that. That's extremely good for some of my freezing weapons. So if I can try and run through right as we break the rocks and take some damage, there we go. Three weapons, I guess it's not terrible. Actually, that's not terrible either, even though I've been avoiding it. Uh, pretty big damage for the energy bars, and that works on status effects as well. We do lose a ton of HP. Could just go for the grudges. But that's so much status effect damage for both of our burning weapons.
I dodged it. I can't get the trigger yet. Why am I so strong? There we go. Uh, it's all just regular damage. Get a bit more mining speed. We still have several stages left. Brings us up to 64. We'll take fire rate for the carbine. Push the status effects on that even more. Take the overclock, I suppose. Split into smaller projectiles. Or plasma. This one seems like it's such a short duration, so probably just go here. Paint job. I don't think we have to get any more overclocks in there. But they are okay for applying status effects. More status damage. Piercing, kind of expensive. Let's see what else we got. Fire rates, reload. And then that's about all. I guess we'll take a bit of crits. It's getting so hard for me to take damage now. Detonator? It isn't? There we go, finally. that guy doing
more luck. Finally up to a nice amount there. Uh, ration pack for the tank scouts. Even more luck. Fire rates, more debuffing. I feel like the plasma is going to end up being way more damage than the burn even though I tried to scale status as much as possible. Fire rates. Uh, reload's okay on that. I guess we'll take it. And then paint job to help if we can find a turbo encabulator. May as well at this point. Let me try again. Paint job to finish that off. Have that collect more. even more Let's stuff for us. Uh, I could finish that one off as well. I guess that's fine. Like me. Go for the spiral pattern, now massive fire back. rates. And now we should have really, really insane freezing with that. I guess fire rays here.
lot of HP. So three of them we get 18 per cluster, I think it is. Times four per level. That's a lot of HP. We can almost instantly slow the roly polies down to nothing and then they're just easy pickings. Even though you can't freeze them completely. Ooh, massive fire rates. Don't mind if I do. Reload, sure. Does it go with that fire rates? Stop the spray out here so we can safely mine the golds. He actually can't even come close to me with all of that slowing effect. Wow. Uh, let's just go fire rate. I'm strong enough. I don't really care. Even more status effects. Kind of feels like a picnic, not gonna lie. Big status damage. Carbine. Ah, may as well with how much we're farming. We're kind of light on nitrate and I want to pump the carbine like that. Big status damage, some global damage, and we can lock a piercing on it. Wow, I can't even break through and instantly take damage anymore with how fast I attack now. And I just dodge him and he runs away from me. 
Hit me! Finally. some more for the red sugar. Oh my. Come on! for the tank or a ton of reload and mining or damage lose the mining speed ah uh, this is definitely the best but I kind of want to go this just for the lulls so we have 39% while moving Parado wasn't stacked up there we have 45% while moving. Piercing. have that one finished I can just take a bit of proj damage I suppose Status, piercing, massive reload, and fire rates. That was a fantastic shop. We can't get anything else except some luck. That brings us up to 84 luck. I'm literally running through everything and zero damage.
zero damage still. Can this guy hurt me? No, he cannot. Global damage. Well, we can get all the red sugar on the ground for if I ever... Oh, I'm picking it up somehow. For if I ever take damage, then the boomerang would collect it, I guess. Hundred and thirty three HP, and we reduced it a bunch with the energy bars. Almost two hundred HP reduction from them. Could have been over a thousand. Pickled Nitra, I guess we may as well. Finally got somewhat decent burn damage with a ton of artifacts ramping it up. Energy bars and pickled nitro. More potency? Alright, time to see if I can run in and face tank them. Guys are weak. Oh no, they're not. Ow. Okay, these guys are weak. What wimps? That wasn't even close. Fifty-one healing a tick. Hundred and thirty one HP, forty eight armor, forty five percent dodge while moving, seven hundred and six percent global damage, mainly from the energy bars and the pickled nitra at the end. Some decent fire rates. We weren't really going a ton into crit since I was trying to scale up the status effects mainly, but two hundred and thirty six percent isn't really that much, even though we took every instance of that. Eighty four luck is quite a bit three copies of the red sugar cube and we got them fairly early as well multi-tool for a bit more reload ration pack for even more hp and life regen some massive fire rates for our debuffing weapons we got the double status effect combo but no massive potency so it kind of forced me into the op overclock anyways and we mostly avoided plane damage on that electing to get the Upgrades that increase the status effect power, fire rate, reload speed, and potency. We got the burning effect here, but no freezing, unfortunately. And then we got cryo for a ton of extra freezing over here. Pretty insane freezing. It was actually difficult for me to take damage at some points. Lots of paint jobs on that to get all of the utility there. So we had 81.5 million burn, that's not too bad. We did have 155 million upfront plasma damage. So it did about half of that, a little over that. 
It's not terrible, but we went super hard into the status effect based stuff, and it still did that little, so maybe not the greatest, but that build was so strong that it still worked out regardless. Let's see, we had about 14, 15 million electrical dot from the boomerang. Not too bad for that one since that one had fairly low investments. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.